going, well, he wasn't expecting me to pop up on a Wednesday morning at 11 o'clock when I've got a million things to do to get ready for the uh, Cake International show in Birmingham. Anyhow, I felt that on Monday night, I actually didn't do a good demo of this fabulous little machine. And that was partly my fault because I intended to have a proper practice and I didn't. And I ran in at four o'clock into the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen, had a quick play, and basically, I think I winged it on Monday night. And um, now I've had a look at it, I actually just want to show you how easy it is and what we can do with it, okay? So I don't know um, how many of you are about on a Wednesday morning at 11 o'clock with nothing to do but watch me on Facebook. So if you want to shout out a few hellos, I've got Maria on the camera today. And uh, I've also got my friend Beata in the kitchen who wants to know what goes on every Monday. So while she's here, she's having a nosy as well. So shout out a few hellos and Maria's going to let me know that you're there. Okay. Violet in? Violet. Yes. Violet Alno. Hi, Violet. Maria Wilson. Hello, Maria. It's good to see who's got their phone in the hand with Facebook live up with Facebook all the time, isn't it? <laughs> there are more, but I don't know how to do it. So feel free to say hi and where you are. It's nice to know where you are in the world today. Um, it's quite, it'd be quite interesting because you Americans should be fast asleep. The Australians should be up and uh, popping up to see, say hello, a few of you. And uh, hopefully there's a few of you in the UK, all the kids are at school, so those of you who are at home, hopefully you're having a little nosy. And uh, let me tell you about this uh, fantastic little machine. Okay, so this machine here is a three-in-one machine. It's called a Sweet Snack Maker and it's made by Gourmet Gadgetry. The lady, Lisa Scott, who owns the company, is a great lady. She does lots of demos on YouTube. I really like her products and we do sell a few of them. But this one I thought was a perfect one because there's three things, okay? So you can make cupcakes. So this is the base and this is the top, which we will do. You can make cake pops and you can make donuts, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you actually how to use the machine. We're going to colour the batter because um, you'll see that I had a little demo this morning and we coloured the batter, okay? I'm going to pop one in a cake tin and use something else as well, okay? So what we'll do is we're going to use the right baking mix and we're going to make it all easy. So to me, this is not for baking for professionals. And I'm sure the professionals are all laughing their head off and they go, of course not, they're not. Um, they're not, this is something to do with the kids, okay? So you don't want to get out your food mixer, you don't want to buy the eggs, you don't want to buy the caster sugar, you don't want to buy every, you don't want to buy anything, you want to keep the kids happy. And uh, my friend was here today who owns nurseries and she went, Carol, what a great idea to have the kids around the table. So you could get the kids involved in some of the things here, but there's one thing you can't get them involved in and that is the machine, okay, because that gets hot. So some of the questions I was asked on Monday, can these go in the dishwasher? Well, they say don't put them in the dishwasher, just wipe them with a paper um, tea towel after use, okay? And, um, and watch the machine as well because it does get hot. And do you need to preheat it? And in fairness, on Monday, I didn't preheat. Yeah, I didn't preheat. But um, that's because I didn't think to do that. Um, but you should preheat it. And uh, what it does is the lights go on. When we turn it on, I'll let you know. But the lights go on. And when the green light goes out, it's ready to go. So first of all, we're going to open up our rice baking mix. Now, on Monday night, I told you I was going to put one box in, but I realised that these have all got best before for November. Now, that doesn't mean that they've gone out of date. It means that best before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two boxes in. So those people who ordered on Monday will be surprised when they get the delivery that they've got two boxes. It's not a mistake. Um, there's just no point in me keeping them. So in the right Victoria sponge mix, and you can use any mix, but I'm using, you can make your own cake mix. But this is, we've got the kiddies here, okay? So we want to do something very quickly. So you open it up. I don't know what's wrong with these days. I can't open these back. I think I've got no strength left. It's okay, I've got this is here. So we're just going to open this mix. And if anybody wants to ask any questions, shout out. And Maria, hopefully, will shout the questions out to us. So is anybody shouting anything, Maria? Well, yes, yeah, that you are getting a dick. Again, what? Live, a dip to Facebook Live. Who's 
joking. Ah, right, okay. Like, so, you're loving Facebook Live? <laughs> well, I am loving Facebook Live because it's a great way I can communicate with all of you. And I think I've told you this before, that when I'm at the shows, I've always wondered, you know, I, can, I communicate with all of you at the shows very well. And then on the website, it's very difficult. So you know what, this way you can actually feel as though you can speak to me. So all we've done, very simple, put the packet of cake mix in there. You only need 200 mils of water, so no eggs nothing else you don't need the mixer so then you can give this bit to the kiddies and if you don't want it slipping around okay get a smaller bowl put a tea towel on okay so that the kiddies can hold it get them on the chair next to you and all they've got to do is stir it stir it till it's all in really simple mix this i actually should have told right baking that i was uh, demoing their cake mix today but i'll let them know later and they can share this video so all you're going to do is keep stirring it in, okay? And while they're doing that, you can get all the other bits ready. And it says, um, you can, on the packet, it says you can mix in the mixer if you want to. You can use a hand mixer, um, or you can just do it by hand. So we're just going to do it by hand. And what's easier than that? Buying a cake mix and adding a 200 mils of water. So I don't know what your kiddies are called, but let's say I've got little Holly with me or little Jasmine. Jasmine's probably a little bit too young. So we're going to divide the mix and I'm just going to divide the mix in three. So we're going to divide the mix. There we go. My grandchildren would be really happy with this. Have you seen this? Grandma's. Uh, I think it says the grandma makes the best cakes. So that was last year's Christmas present off the kids. Don't ask me where you get them from. If anybody wants one, I'll, uh, do message me and I'll ask. I don't know which which of one of my children got it on their behalf. Uh, see if they can remember, but we don't sell them ourselves. So there we go. So that's the bowl out of the way. And then we're going to use these three colours. So you let your child then pop in the colours. Um, give it a good dollop because it's bake for baking and when, you, you, when you're going to bake you do you lose some of the colour. So let them put a good dollop, the kids love squeezing this out. So if you've got three kiddies they get a bowl each. Mix these in. So I've got to wait for you to come back. Uh, we don't know what happened, you just disappeared on us. Um, we don't know if it's our iPad, we know that the internet not a problem so maybe my ipad needs updating so i'm just going to wait for you to all come back again so give me a shout i've not carried on i've just stopped so you've not missed anything and anybody who is watching this when maria's going to put all the little if it breaks again she'll just put everything together and make it one video and put it on our youtube channel so as maria just lets me know that people are coming back yes i'm coming back Lindsay, Maria good Wilson. So come on back guys, sorry about that, we don't know, it just disappeared. It did the same on Monday to John. It didn't say reconnecting or losing a uh, signal, it just switched itself off. So here we go. So I've actually not carried on with anything, I just waited until we've reconnected. I'm using the colour splash colours because I want you to see how vibrant they are. So you've got your kiddies and this will keep them busy, so kids always love making kids mix they probably will have it all over the fingers and all over the face by now but who cares so they've got this one right so let's show you how to put the machine together so if Maria wants to pop round here Okay, so we're going to use the cake pops first. So we're going to pop in the cake pops. So what you do is, I'll just show you, probably didn't show it you actually, so I'll just show you for a second. So you'll see there's a little ridge there, okay? So it's got the whole uh, rim going out down there and then it goes down. And then here, so that's just going to, you line it up there and you clip it in, okay? And the same with this one, it's got the ridge, okay, and then it doesn't go up there, you line it up here, so, and then you 
just click it in. Yeah? So we're going to do that. So I want to just get that one on. And then you're going to get two cups. Because on Monday, um, didn't have brain thinking on Monday. And uh, yeah, so can you grab me another mug, please? So we're just going to use two cups. Super. Okay, these are my big coffee cups, so I didn't bring any other ones. And you'll notice I haven't put a hole in them. So anybody who knows me really knows, know, knows me well, knows that the best way to get to my heart is to buy me a latte. And uh, I'm anybody's then. <laughs> I don't drink a drop, so John knew how to get to me. Buy me latte all day and I'm really very happy. Decaffeinated if possible. So, we get our cake mix. I'm going to pour it in the bags. And this is going to make it a lot easier than the mess that I made on Monday. Because Monday I was spooning it in and ended up getting it all over the place. So what we're going to do here now, we we'll want every bit in because we're tight. So let's get every bit into there. So, look at that, I've got an assistant in the kitchen today, so I uh, don't normally get an assistant, but um, John it doesn't know that we're doing this live, um, I'm meant to be down the warehouse loading up vans, finishing off decorating cakes, loading up the car for the show and doing all the last minute checks, so there you go, and there we go, come on. They love the colours black. Yeah, and you know what? The reason I wanted to use these colours, I wanted to show you that when you bake with them, um, how bake stable they are. Okay, so uh, nothing that you know the kids just love these. I mean, when I did them on Monday, I didn't even think about colouring the sponge, and uh, I was thinking, how dumb is that? So, um, did you get up some kitchen now? Oh, fantastic. Super. So good having an assistant here today. Look, she realised when we well done. And there's the doggies. The dog walkers here. Don't worry about it, Beata. So the dog walkers here, so they're all excited. Two of them have been out. So we've got these in the bags. So excuse the doggies. But that just shows you it's live, isn't it? So we're going to put those on there. We'll keep them there for a moment. Now there's a couple of things now you can use for greasing these up. You can either use oil and a pastry butt brush. You can use cake release, and it doesn't matter which one you use. We have this one on the website, plus P uh, Wilton and PMA. And you can also use these as well. So I never even thought about telling you to about using these guys. I can't sell you these because we don't sell them, but you can pick them up in your supermarket. So I'm just going to turn on our heater. Okay, so we're just gonna turn that on for a moment. Get my scissors ready, so we're just going to wait. And then in the meantime, while we're doing that, I'm just going to spray my pan. In fact, I'll use it as a spray release. And then I'll show you what we're going to do with this as well. So, and I will pop my oven on. This is an eight inch pan. And while we're waiting for that to change color, I'm going to put the oven on. Now there's some bits that you mustn't let the kiddies touch, okay? So mix in the cake mix, mix in the cake mix. If you want to help guide them into the bags, let them do that, but do not let them touch this. Keep this out the way, okay? So we need to do that. So what do you think, Beata? You've never been here on the yeah. Facebook Live time, have we? Have a nice. So yeah. have we got a nice audience joining us, Maria? Yes. 80, 81. 81? Okay, hey, that's good, isn't it? Yes. On a Wednesday morning. Yes. Who's going to the cake show? Cake International, Cake and Bake. Who's coming to our stand to see us? <laughs> <laughs> that's the important thing. And who, what did you think of Great British Bake Off last night? Did you, do, do you agree with the winner? I would have liked Liam to work win, but in fairness, he isn't perfect, but I would have liked to have seen him in the final, and I do think Sophie's a great winner, personally. I think she deserved it. So, Mandy's anyway. coming. Pardon? Mandy Powell is going to yeah. the Birmingham show. Is that Mandy? Yes. I have to understand Maria's accent. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Maria's Spanish, Beata's Polish, so I have a great time in here. <laughs> 
And when you ask them to do something, I have to live in hope that they get me what I ask them. Some strange things can happen, can't they, Beata? <laughs> so we're just waiting for this, okay? And I think we're yeah, nearly there. Just give it a couple more minutes. Does anybody want to ask any questions? No, they are agree with you about Liam. About Liam, yes. yes. He's cute, him, isn't he? I thought he was really nice. And I think people warmed to him because he was actually really friendly and personable. I think a lot of them were, in fairness. But uh, I'm quite, having said that, I'm quite happy that, um, that Sophie won. And uh, they've all given Prue a hard time. Did you read the comments about Prue? I really do feel sorry for her. You know, she has made a big muck up. But it's only a TV programme. What does it really matter? Okay. And if you didn't want to know, don't read it. So, uh, but uh, I don't know. I think I think some people get stressed over the wrong things. It's not worth it's not worth being stressed. So what? I found out. John told me while I was having my tea last night. Oh, thanks, John. But did it did it spoil it? No, not at all. I needed to know how she won. What did she do? So anyhow, so I think the green light has gone off. So feels. Yep, yeah, feels nice and hot. So we're going to spray this with this one towel. So let's give this a spray. Give it a shake. So there we are, give it a spray. All over. Right, now this is where the tricky bit comes. I'm just going to turn the electric off for a minute, okay? And the reason I'm doing that is because I need to cut these bags, okay? Now this is the tricky bit, and again, you probably won't be able to let the kids do this bit. So cut your bag and let's fill our balls. So I'm going to do these as multicolored balls. And I actually don't know how many cake pops there is in here actually. So we're going to do... So 13. 13 is there? Yes. Right, okay. So when we get to the end of the mix, we're going to just tip the bag back like that. Good. And I'm just... So if not, I can't seal it. If you leave it down, it's all going to leak. So we're going to tip the bag and we're just going to sit it inside the cup, which is why I've got these big cups out. Okay, you could do it in a bowl as well. So let's do the same with the yellow one. So with the yellow one. Crazy love your videos. Who loves my videos? Crazy Bell. Crazy Bell? Yes. Have you got that right, Maria? I don't know. <laughs> So here we go. So we're going to have some of those. Yeah, we'll do that one. You know what it is? It's really a big confidence boost, you know, because I am a very outgoing person. But having said that, and anybody who's been here in the kitchen, it really is quite intimidating being here in the kitchen. And you know that you're talking to people, but you're not here. So the only person I've got to interact with is John. And as you know, he doesn't say a lot. You don't tell me half the things what's going on there. So we've got those in there. So we're going to shut this and we're going to let... Can you see they've started to rise already because of the heat? So I'm going to turn it back on. Shut this. Clip that. Shut. And that for the next three or four minutes. Okay. So have we got, I'm just going to go and wash my hands a moment. The oven's on. So if any of you want to take this opportunity to ask some questions, feel free. So let me, while, but why, why are you typing your questions up, because you know there's a 30 second delay, let me just show you what you get in the Rikes Baking Mix. So in the Rikes Baking Mix, okay, in the Rikes Baking Mix you get a cake mix and you get a bag of icing sugar. So I'll just open another box. So just remember what I'm telling you, okay. In this box, you get the cake mix, and you only need 200 mils of water, and you get a bag of icing sugar. Uh, no disrespect to the right, but I'm not using their icing sugar. Uh, not because it doesn't taste nice, but I just prefer my own. I think it tastes nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, we've got some sprinkles ready, so we're going to have those. And we've got some other little bits here. And um, what else are we going to do? And you get in two boxes of when, if you buy one of these. Um, this here is $49.99 in uh, major stores, okay? Um, I did see it in Lakeland for $49.99. We do sell it on our website, 
for 42 but everybody who buys one this week can buy one off me for 35 pounds and you get two rice baking mixes as well so um doggy walker must be outside or cat or dog run past and that's my phone going and that was john on the phone so i'm just thinking see what we're doing I told you John didn't know we was doing a Facebook Live. <laughs> <Not really. laughs> so you can have a little peek. So all you do, flip this. So we're going to have a little peek. Ooh, look at them, aren't they lovely? Yeah. So I'm just going to put the lid down again. And we're going to get our little cake tester. So like I say, three to four minutes, okay? Even up to seven mi minutes. And I'm not quite sure why there's a variation. I don't know whether you need longer if you're going to make your own cake batter. Or uh, if it's a mix. But it has worked really very, very quickly with the mix. So let's... Uh, let me just open this again. I'm just going to stick this inside. And see how they are. Yeah, they are done. But I just want to make sure we just give it another minute. So does anybody want to ask... Let me just have a look, Maria. So while we're looking... Um, anybody asking any questions? Mm -hmm. So, morning ladies. Maria's going through the questions too fast, so let's have a look. So, so <laughs> I can't read that fast, Maria. Yes. <laughs> well, here's the question. Do you get the changeable plates with it? You do, so there you go. So let's just talk about those a moment. You get all these plates with it, which is great. And we're going to use them all with the one mix. So I'm going to be happy that they're done. Let me just check that they are. Yep. So I'm going to turn it off. So remember at this stage to turn it off. And we're going to ping these little boys out. Okay. They do seem to get browner on one side. But that doesn't really matter. And this is it's a good example to show you that when you use the colour splash in the oven and you make a sponge cake, okay, you'll always get the top of your cake and round the sides of the pan, this brown colour. So uh, some people think, oh, it didn't come out the colour. But when you cut through, then you can see the colour. So that's quite nice that you can actually see how well these colour splashes are. The colour splashes are on our website. Maria's put the link on. And you all know that I'm a big fan of the gels. How many of you bought these off me, guys? Because I know a lot of you do. And I know a lot of you love them. And I don't know how many of you used them in your bakes before. So that's a really good example to show you okay, how so many have used them in the bakes. So I'm going to order one of these. Oh, fantastic. That's what we want. So, good. That's what we want, Sue, guys. Excuse me. Who is it? Sue. Hi, oh. Sue. You're going to order one. Good girl. So, I've turned it off now. Now, in fairness, you should be doing something with the kids with these now while your plates cool down. But I haven't got time for the plates to cool down. So, get your oven gloves out. Okay. So, Beata, don't touch these now. Okay. Okay. So, I'm going to put that there. So, all I did to release it, can you see this little button? All I did to release it was press this little button. And I think you can see. Can you see there, Maria, that little clip thing? Yeah. You see it? Moving yes. down there? Yes. Yep. Okay. And then up here, exactly the same. There's another little clip there. So I'm just going to press that. And we're going to get this one out. Have I pressed it? Oops. One second. Yeah, he's unclipped there. So he's unclipped. Very, very easy. And then we're going to put the donuts in. So exactly the same formation. So you've got this nice rim all the way round. We've got this here. And we're just going to line it up. And we're going to click it in. And exactly the same. The rim is on the other one. So it doesn't matter. There's no top and bottom. Okay. They both work the same. So you put that one down here. They're basically getting in line with these black bits here. Now in fairness, I didn't read the instructions the other day. But Maria had. And she had to save the day. So we're going to turn on the heater again. We're going to spray them. So we're going to spray them. light spray we're going to get our three cups again so by this time the kiddies can be either eating these or they can be dipping them around in um, icing sugar so what we're going to do is 
we are going to there's seven of these bad boys so we're going to have three pink because pink's my favorite color as you know that's the color of the sugar and crumbs and anybody who wants one of these the link is at the top of the page so we're just going to do that and I think it was uh, Sarah who said Carol why don't you use the piping bags and I did feel a bit of a nincompoop really because I thought yeah I know that myself why did I not use the piping bags so let's get these out we'll do two yellow ones So did we find out how many people were coming to Cake International? Did anybody come? Yes. Has anyone come to Cake and Bake? Who's coming to see me? Don't want you going seeing anybody else. Come and see me. <laughs> Get your nozzles. Got no baby nozzles, I'm afraid. They are stuck at customs. We've had an order yesterday that arrived yesterday. Finally, John had to actually have to go to the post office in Stoke, and we're based in Manchester. So we're back on. We're based in Manchester and John had to ride, drive to Stoke-on-Trent to get them yesterday because the, um, our order had been stuck at customs for a week and they only just released them yesterday. And if we'd waited, they could have arrived today or tomorrow, but we need them for the show to go on the van. So that's the next batch in. So what are we going to do with these bad boys? You're going to ask me, aren't you? So I'm actually going to quickly make another mix these. So Beata, can you weigh me, can you pass me some water please? So I'm actually going to use this second mix and it's probably good to use the chocolate one because I'm sending you a white one and a chocolate one. So, thank you. Oh, do you know what I've just done? What have I just done guys? So, what have I just done? You know what I've just done, don't you? Right, Beata. Do me a favour, pass me a big bowl, please. Does anybody know? Just pass me a big bowl, please. One of the big ones. Uh, does anybody know what I've just done? A big bowl, a white one. Super. Does anybody realise what I've just done? You've got to know what I've just done. And if you don't, you haven't been paying attention. Yes, Salma, Salma knows. Salma knows. <laughs> Who don't give the game away yet, Salma. Does anybody else know? Elaine, 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 Nikki. I all know. When did you spot it? Before I asked you. Diane too. Yeah. I put the icing sugar in for the cake mix. So, and that just shows that was an easy mistake when you're not paying attention. So when your cake doesn't rise in the oven, you know what you've done. You've baked it with icing sugar. So uh, let me get my measuring thing on. So we need 200 mils of water. Thanks, Beata, for that. Okay, and then let's see how these are doing here in the meantime. Ooh, look at them, not ready yet though. So I'll put them back on. So while this is back in here, we're going to open up our second mix. So if you've got the chocolate mix, I should have probably done the chocolate one. That was a bit daft, wasn't it? It's probably going to be more effective with the chocolate one. I really do need to think about it, but anyhow, this is the way it's going to be done now. Good mix. So again, you can have the kids busy doing this. I wash. I got um, Beata to wash the bowl, but you don't need to wash the bowl. Just put the next mix in. So if I was you guys, I'm sending you two cake mixes. Use the chocolate one, okay? So what's up, Beata? What's up, Maria? Yeah, no, it's fine. Yeah, don't worry about it. So we're gonna get this ready here. So. Do you think your kids will have a good time with this, or do you think you're just going to enjoy playing with it? See how many will enjoy playing with it themselves. So when I ask you if you can, if you can cut a donut in half, I will cut a donut in half. Yeah, I'll cut one of these in half actually. Do you want to just pass me a knife, Beata, please? Let me just pass one. Of, let me cut one of these in half. My friend was here this morning scoffing them, so let's just cut you one of these in half. Okay, lovely. There are girls, one each. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. You have one? Thank you. Thanks. Maria loves cake. Thank you. There you go. That's the end of the cake. <laughs> they taste good though, don't they? They do. Mm -hmm. Are you surprised? I know my friend was surprised this morning. 
I have to laugh at my friend. My friend's got nurseries. I don't know how many she's got. She's got loads of nurseries. But she was here this morning. And she, I said, look, I'm just going to have to have a quick demo of this. So she's videoing me in the nighty and dressing gown. I said, don't you dare put that on Facebook. But, uh, so just to be sure, I made sure I said a swear word because I know she won't have a swear word on. So, uh, <laughs> so here we go. And we're up and we're ready. And where's my little cake tester? I think we're ready. That one I damaged because I pulled it up too soon. Yeah, I'm just going to give it a bit longer, just a bit longer. I think they're cooked, but actually it won't do any harm to have another minute. And we've still got mix in here, guys, which we're going to use for the cupcakes. And these were the donut ones that I made with my friend this morning. So let's just cut those in half. Look at that lovely, nice pink colour. Nice and vibrant, isn't it? Do you like that? Yeah. Do they taste as one chase one? See if yeah, they taste the same? You. You tasting one, Maria? Mm. Good. I'm surprised John hasn't popped up on Facebook yet and said, What are you two doing? Elaine wants one. Elaine Lawson wants one. Oh, where the cake? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not eating any, Elaine. I'm big enough as it is. Right, okay, so let's turn this off. Let's get this one up. And we're going to pop these out onto the plate. So we're just going to gently loosen these up. Okay, the good thing with this is I can uh, just pick it up like that. So we're just going to, I really think you're meant to use a little palette knife, but you all know when you're at home, we all cheat and use whatever we've got in our hand. And that's exactly what we're doing now. I think this one might have stuck. I think this one's stuck. Yeah, it has. Don't worry. So these are the bits that the kids can't do. And if you've managed to stop them eating your cake pops, I'm just going to get these out. Ooh. So always remember to turn off the element as well, because otherwise it'll still be hot. I don't want you to burn yourselves. Right. So let's just cut one of these so that you can see that these were the fresh ones straight out of the oven. So let's cut one of these so you can see how lovely and pink it is. So this colour splash range, so there you go, it's lovely and pink. Let's cut a yellow one, a green one, a lime green. And uh, let's get those colours anyhow. So we've got the really nice pink. Um, I haven't put it in as dark as that, but at least it's been baked stable, it shows you. Yeah, and then we've got the lime green. Yeah, do we like it? And then we've got a yellow one here. So Maria and Beata have got plenty of cake here. And we've got the yellow one. I've obviously put enough yellow in there to get that same colour. The green isn't too far away. And neither's the pink. And just remember, if you're making a whole cake in colour, yeah, it will get that brown on the outside. It's when you cut in. So I do see people on Facebook worrying about that it's gone brown. So let's move those out the way. Let's get rid of these hot plates. You are meant to wait till they cool down, but we're not waiting till they cool down. We're just going to bundle them over here. Out of the way. Make sure you move them out of the way of the kiddies as well. Okay. How many of you are going to use it with the kiddies, or, you, or is this something you're just going to play with yourself? In fact, we'll have to put a little recipe together in a minute. You'll probably play with it yourself. So here we go, cupcakes. Now the cupcake one, so all these plates come with it. The cupcake one, make sure this one is on the bottom. So where the others, there was no top and bottom. This one has got a top and bottom. So you want that there. I'm going to line it up again. Yeah. And I haven't got that clipped in. And I'm going to line that one in. Make sure it is clipped in. So that one's not lined up yet. So I can see that one's not lined up. Yeah. Did you hear the click? So we know it's done. I'm going to use the coconut spray on this one. So we're just going to... Oh, that's definitely coconut, isn't it? And then we're going to use the rest of our mixer. Remember, this is one packet of mix that we've used here. So we're just going to seven cupcakes. 
just going to put that in there. Then cupcakes. Yeah, I'm just going to put that in there. So we've still got a bit left. Put the element back on. We're going to have the yellow ones. So let's squeeze. So the good thing, guys, the reason I like doing live is I can't lie to you. And I don't want to lie to you. Any, any of you girls have met me, you know I say it as I see it. Um, how many of you have met me live at the shows? Um, I am what I am. I'll tell you what I think. I think it's rubbish. I'll tell you it's rubbish. Quite a direct person. I scare people to death. I don't know why, because I am really very nice. Even if I do say so myself. I don't know what you guys think. So there we go. So I'm going to pop that in there. Maria and Beata are shaking at the moment. Nodding their heads in agreement. So there we go, they're in there. So you've got seven little cupcakes. I'm going to go and wash my hands. And then, while they're in there, in their little bit, let's move those out of the way. You are an honest, lovely lady. Ah, oh, thank you, you said that. Salma. Salma, ah, oh, that's very nice of Salma. So we're just going to pop these balls in here. And, uh, Thanks, Alma. Hope everybody else agrees with you. You're a lovely lady, Yeki Jones. Ah, oh, thank you very much. You're good. <laughs> oh, look at all these praises. So let's put, um, oh, they won't go in there. So we'll just have to put those in there. And then what I am going to do is, I'm just going to try this little trick. So as you know, I've got some in the bags left. So I'm just going to put this, um, let me think about this, how I'm going to do this. Do you know what, let's just try it like this. So I'm going to put that there. Now I've not done this before, so whether this works or not, I don't know. Okay. So we're just going to do this. I'll put that there. So there you go, Vieta. Let's get rid of all that lot. So that was just the, re the, the balance of the first mix and all I'm going to do is swirl that round not going to go mad not going to go mad and then we're going to pour this in here Maria yeah so we're going to pour it all in there yeah all around our balls now believe it or not this is not a YouTube recipe I can't say I'm probably the first day I've watched this but I'm sure there's something similar to this and I remember seeing something but I think they made them with real cake pops. I did say on Monday, um, I love cake pops. I think they're great, but I will not eat one. <laughs> and the reason I won't eat one is, is I've never made them simply because I hear that people, and Lynn said it as well, people use all their cut-offs, yeah, and then they, they break them all up with their hands, then they get buttercream, and they mash it all together, and then they mould it all into a ball. And by this time, I feel physically sick. I've got a bit of an OCD thing. So the thought of me having all that stuff mushed up, it's why I don't eat shish kebabs and all that. Anything that's mucked up with people's hands, I just can't face it. So uh, I like this machine because it's the mix and it goes straight in there. So we're going to put that in there. Yeah, so you all got that, guys? And then we're going to put this in the oven. And I'm going to pop this in the oven rear. So let me just, I forgot to take this out. Can you see how clean my oven is? So I'm going to pop this in the oven until it's hot. Now, in fairness, I have rushed the job here, guys, because I think you should put those balls in the freezer, okay? Put the cake pops in the freezer for a little while, freeze them up, put them in, and then they don't overbake. But let's see what they look like when they come out, yeah? So I'm just going to wash my hands, get rid of a few bits. Now, if you're going to do that bit, the kids are probably bored by now, because you're having all the fun and they're sat there waiting. So if you want to play with the kids, I'd probably just make the cupcakes, the donuts, and the cake pops, and then let them get on and decorate. Um, but if you want to make that cake, on your own and do that and then what we're going to do then is we're going to use water icing again we're going to use water icing again pop the kettle on before 
We're going to use our marshmallow mix. And get in the bag. I used marshmallow on Monday and uh, all those cakes that were really very badly decorated on Monday, how bad did you think they all were? They were shocking, weren't they? Anyhow, all those cakes that were badly decorated on Monday, they went into the boys on Tuesday in the warehouse and they all loved them. They rang me and went, Carol, what's that flavour? It's gorgeous. The cakes were really delicious. So, right, spake sponge went down a tree. Marshmallow icing sugar went down a tree. And, um, and my poor decorating went down a tree. So you've got the kids here now. And we're going to go back around here, Maria. So, Maria. So all we're going to do, I said this to you before, I do use hot water. We have this conversation. I'm not sure why I use hot water. It was just the way I was shown as a child. So I use boiling water. So now this is the bit that you can give to the kids again, but only put a drop in. Now, I don't know if your mum was like my mum, but she'd put a big lot of it in and then um, it just all dripped off the cake, went down the side of the cake and most of it was on the plate um, or on the cooling rack and none left on the cake. Have many of you, any of you done that? And that's only because you put too much water in. So let's add some colour. So do any of you remember that? Do you know those like fairy cakes that you buy from the supermarket? Your mum would buy you those on a Sunday, well my mum did. And because uh, my mum couldn't make cakes. So she'd buy me those and that's what she would add the boiling water to. Yeah, and uh, those cakes used to look great in the packet, don't they? They look really nice and big. And they come out, they're, about, they're not much bigger than a 10p piece, I don't think, half the time. Uh, they're in the tiniest cake wrappers. They're dirty. They're in the tiniest cake wrappers. And you can see here, I think I put too much water in. So when you put too much water in, you have to add more icing sugar. And I've definitely put too much water in there. You can see you put too much in because it goes this really translucency colour. So we're going to have to put some more in. And as I say, I'm using toasted marshmallow. And anybody who hasn't got toasted marshmallow yet, you want to get it. Everyone's loving it. It's like the new Christmas flavour they're all going mad for. And the kids love it as well. And as I say, the boys on the warehouse... They said, Carol, what is it that you've used? So I haven't forgot my cupcakes. Let's have a look at these. So how are these doing? Ooh, they're looking good, aren't they? Let's drop that down a minute. So they're looking good. So let me just stir this in a minute. So we're keeping with the same theme. These colour splashes, there's 29 colours and they're all great. Okay, so we're going to make this a really hot pink. Uh, the less colour you put in, the paler, common sense, the more you put in, the more vibrant. So obviously I put in a really good dollop there. See? Same colour as the packet. Same colour as the packet. How many times do you buy uh, colour ins and they're not the same colour? Well, by the time you've squirted it all of it in, we've watered it down, so let's do this. So has anybody got any questions? Has our audience grown, Maria? Yes, 123. 100 and how many? 124. 124. Got nothing to do on a Wednesday morning. <laughs> cool. Are you all from the UK? They must, yes. That's what we want. So let's just get this muddled in. And then I'm going to take my cupcakes out. And the ones, is that in sugar? Oh, you've got to get that icing sugar. Marshmallow, you put the link on, didn't you, Maria? Yes, well, Maria's put the link on to all the flavoured icing sugars. She's basically put the link on so that you can go and buy flavoured icing sugar in 500 grams, 2.5 kilos, 5 kilos, and the cocoa powders. Have you put it just to the icing sugars or to sugar and crumbs? Icing sugar. That's it. Okay, so she's put the link to the icing sugars, which is fine. Okay, so we're going to do this nice lime green, and then we're going to take out our cupcakes. So look at this. Say, look, guys, look. 
I kid you not. I only I, people say somebody said to me, Carol, can you sell anything? Well, actually, I can't sell anything. If I don't believe in it, I can't sell it. And if I haven't done a job properly, I like to come back and tell you what I've mopped up and uh, let's do it again. And that's what today's all about. I didn't feel that I gave you a particularly good demonstration. And that taught me a valuable lesson on Monday. That taught me to stop winging it on the night. But unfortunately, with being the owner of Sugar and Crumbs, and Maria will tell you, I work all hours God sends. I work day and night. Don't I love? Nothing. Nothing. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I was just telling them how many hours I work. I know. <laughs> So I work all the time, and then when, before I know it, I come up with this bright idea on a Monday of what I'm going to do for you next Monday, and then that Monday's come round, so I generally have to wing it. So there we go. So I'm going to turn that off, okay? And you coming down to Devon anytime soon? Coming down to when? To, to Devon? To Devon? No, not on my list. Who was asking for that one? That wasn't my sister by any chance, was it? Beth Mac. Who? Oh, Beth Max. No, Beth Max. I thought you was. I thought you were my sister because my si I've got a lot of family who live in Devon. So anyone from Barnstable and Exeter, Ilfracoom, all that. Lots of family there. But I was down there earlier on in the year. But no plans to go down. There's no cake shows down there. There was a fantastic shit cake show down there once. It was called the Big Cake Show. They only did it once, and it was absolutely amazing. And um, uh, what's she called? Um, what's she called? I can't think of her name now. Off um, the Great British Bake Off when it was on um, the BBC. What's she called? Someone Ooh. wants to, you to come to Exeter. Exeter. Hey, my cousin lives there. He's got three fish and chip shops there. I can't go there. I can't get out the chippy. Right, okay. So uh, what's she called off the um, Mary Berry? So Mary Berry opened the big cake show. It was an absolutely amazing show. Yes. We went back for the second year. And uh, they went bust, so that was no good. So let me just open one of these cupcakes for you. So let's open this yellow one. We've just taken it out. So remember, guys, this is hot now. I've turned it off, so you must make sure that in between doing it, turn it off, okay? And do not let the children near this, okay? So I'm just going to shut the lid on that, and then we're going to cut one of these just so that you can see the nice, vibrant colour of these, yeah? I should have probably waited a little bit as well for them to cool down. But um, is that one for you, Maria, and one Thank for me? You. Should we tell them how nice it is? Ding, ding. <laughs> Thank you. Great. <laughs> right, then. Sorry. Now I've got a mouthful of cake. They do taste good. I have to put Bright's bacon there, G. They do taste good. So let me get another piping bag. How much is the icing sugar? The acid sugar is 349 okay, and uh, we have 36 flavours, that's on our website. If you come into the cake show, we are doing bundle deals, so it's well worth coming to the cake show. So I'm just going to put this one in here, this white one, this white one, this pink one in here. So ideally, I should have put this in a cup again and poured it in, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to spoon it in. I'll show you why in a minute. And then hopefully, I'm hoping, my very large cake. So you see, there's loads of lessons to be learned here, guys. Go on, Maria, show them what's happening to the cake. Because I didn't do what Lynn Hill did the other day. I didn't. So I think we could be having an explosion in the oven. <laughs> so I think that one. <laughs> Turn it down. I think we're going to have a big cake. Hopefully, it's not going to go over the sides. But as I've told you before, I'm very good at mucking it up. So let's just put that in there. Keep that in there. Let's get another bag. So, no nozzles in here at all. Where is the cake show, Karen? The cake show, um, the cake show we're setting up tomorrow in Birmingham. And you can, um, it's in Birmingham at the NEC. And that is on all weekend, Fridays, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. It's exhausting for all the exhibitors because obviously we're, we're van loading. We've been preparing, making everything, preparing the vans. John's down at the unit getting everything on the van. He was probably phoning me for something that I might need on the van. I've sent him to buy all the butter today. And then um, 
we load the van up. We all leave at six in the morning, me and Maria and uh, Laura from the office and all the showgirls. So they all leave. We go and build the stand tomorrow, which takes us all day to build the stand. We're extremely exhausted. Um, and tomorrow, a nice surprise, Gwen Powell, who has done the DK applicator, has invited us for drinks at seven o'clock. Go as we are in our work gear, and we will be, because if we go back to the hotel and get changed, we'll just stay there, because normally we're so exhausted, we eat our meal and just get to our bedrooms. And the one thing at cake shows is, and you can definitely agree with this sugar and crumbs team, we're usually in bed by half past eight, aren't we, Marie? So, because uh, we're so tired. We go back to the hotel, have our meal, and we're in bed. And then we're back open again. The show opens at half past nine, but we need to be there nice and early. So I'm just going to get a couple of these pink ones here. You know how much is the entry? I don't, actually, if I'm really honest. But if you go on the Cake International website, they will tell you. So I'm just going to put a very tiny hole here. And I'm just going to just drizzle this across. Yeah. So this is the things that the kids can do. I know I'm playing. Let me get those mugs back. So I know I'm playing here. But these are the things that we can now give the kids to do in the bags. This is when they start enjoying themselves. So let me just tip that one up there. And Maria, can I just get this bag? So let's get this one cut. And uh, I'm going to be pink. You're going to come around here? Yes. Yeah. So let's get this one cut. So we haven't got as many to decorate because I cut them in half to show you the colour. So I think I should have done that the other side, shouldn't I? Yeah, there he is. So he's a double-sided one. Yeah. And then we're going to get the yellow ones here. Let's put that in there. So remember to fold the bag. Fold the bag because you don't want it leaking out. Let's get the scissors again. Are you liking it so far? Is anybody investing in one? Is anybody buying any colour splash? So we're just going to go along there, along there. Yeah. And then these, let's get these. So what we're going to do is on this one here, so we're just going to, we'll see how it's quite hot, the cake still, so this might just all melt off. Quite warm. So we're just going to pop those on there. So what we can do with these now is, with the kiddies, um, I've got my bowl of sprinkles there, so we can put a couple of sprinkles on. These are on our website. So the kids love this, don't they? They love having their fingers in there. So we can do that. Put those there. What have we got here? So we've got these lemon ones. The lemon ones now, what other colour have we got? Maria? Have we used yellow there? Green. We've got green for the lemon ones. So let's do those. So we'll just do that and put those all the way around. Just going to do all that all the way around. Aren't these great colours? Do you love them? Okay. And then the other thing that the kids love as well, I've got all these sugar pipings here. Have you seen these? So we'll put a little gingerbread man on there. Mm -hmm. So these sugar pipings, we'll put one of those on. We'll put the princess on as well. Okay. So we sell sugar pipings there on our website. And we've got two more cupcakes here. So let's... So this is all things, just messing with the children. Messing with the children. Let's get the pink one out. How lovely and vibrant is that? Hey, do you like it? Come on, Maria. Are we getting any responses? It's like talking to John here. Yes. Hey, <laughs> yeah. I'm getting as much response off you as that I am off John. They love color splash. They love it. Good. Yes. Haven't I introduced you to a great product? So we need to be telling the owners of this company to start doing me a better deal. And if they do me a better deal, I can do you a better deal because. 
I promote it because I like it, not because they asked me to. So there you go. So these little sugar pipings are great. So the kids love those as well. So let's move all the rubbish out of the way. And let's get together what we've been using here. So I know I know the decoration's not great again, guys, but this is about playing with the kids. Yeah. Open this. Let's get round here. These are all our little off cuts. There's another off cut. There we go. That's what we've been using. We've been using that colour splash. These are sugar pipings. We've got loads of designs for sugar pipings. I just brought a few here. I think we've got about 40 different types. Right, baking mix. These are the sprinkles. We've got those on our website as well. Piping bags on our website. Everything's on our website. All you've got to do is ask. Um, we can pop the links on for you. So there we go. You can use cake release if you want to. You can use oil in a pastry brush if you want to. If you want to use any of these sprays in your kitchen, you how, can do. How many colours? And the colour is black. There's 29 colours. You can buy them in sets. Um, I, I have put on there a Carol Favourites bundle. And um, it's 10 colours of what I use all the time. So if you go to the colour splash link that Maria's put on the page and you scroll down, I think you see all the dusts and the powders first. And then you keep scrolling down until you get to the gels. And then you can buy the gels singly. You can buy them as a set of 29. You can buy them in sets of five. I think there's a Halloween set. There's a cupcake set. There's a Carol Favourites. There's a... Um, there's all, can you think of any other sets, Maria? There's bowls, there's primaries, Halloween. there's pastels. Um, Halloween set. Yeah. There's neutrals, there's darks. There's loads of sets we put together with a bit more discount on, on there for you. And then I've done a set of 10, which are the ones that I... Because people always say, which ones are you using all the time? And you usually find I'm using these same colours. So the same 10 colours I put in a set as well. Give you more discount. So let's see how many cake's doing. And John's, I bet John's met, uh, calling me wondering what the hell am I doing. So my cake's very big. <laughs> There's a lesson to be learned here, guys, okay? And that is I should have used two baking tins. So he's not cooked yet, okay? So I'm going to put him back in there. So you're probably not going to see him cook now. I'm probably just going to have to take him out of the oven later and send you a picture. And... Um, so, would anybody be interested in one of these gourmet gadgetry machines? What do you think of it? Do you think they're worth investing in? Massive discount. $49.99 to £35. Plus your rates by, uh, rights baking mix. Plus a demo off me as well. I mean, you couldn't ask for any more, really, could you? <laughs> they, they are asking for the rainbow cake. They're asking for the rainbow cake? For me to make the rainbow cake? What do they come by for that? Oh, they can, the rainbow cake? Where can they buy it? Are you talking about the actual ready mix, mate? Right, okay, just so that I know what you're asking for, we do do a rainbow layered cake mix. And if you go to our website, we've got shop and then we've got shop by brand. Drop the brand menu, go down to baked in, okay, and you can buy the rainbow layered kit. And in that layered kit, you get the five colored, colored um, mixes already, the, the uh, disposable pans, everything in there to make that kit or if you're looking for the pans the easy layer pans which we've used before go down to Wilton and you can find the easy layer pans round square and oblong what would he buy for making a wedding cake what would what would buy what he needs for buying that let me just read the questions guys it's just let me just ask what the question is uh, rainbow cake Maria what do I buy for that very tempted, but I have no room in my kitchen. What would I buy? Andy. Andy, the best thing to do is message me on Facebook after. I'm not going to get back to you for a little while, but message me after and I'll send you some links because I just really need to understand the question. But there's something else, guys, that I just need to tell you as well. If you do buy this, okay, don't throw the box away, right? I am one for buying something take it out of the box, fling the box away, and then when I go and put them in the cupboard, everything's precariously balancing in my cupboards. And uh, one day I should take you into my office, and um, in fact, would you like to have a walk in there now? 
you want to go and see my baking cupboard? Shall we walk through my house and show you mine and Maria's office? Because me and Maria work from my home. Who wants to see that? Because I'll just show you how chaotic it is. <laughs> Maria's about, and our office is a nightmare at the moment because it's filled up with everything we're taking to the cake show. Shall we go and give them a tour, Maria? They, uh, the delay, they are not free. Yes, let's do it. Let's do it. Is so that what we're going to do? <laughs> Okay, well we might get some time to... Go so on then. Shall we yeah, go and do it then? So come on then. Yes, so gonna... please, Tracy. Yeah, come on then. Let's follow me through my house. So here's the doggies, Lincoln. Lincoln, come on. Yeah, we are. We're live again. So guys, we're just running through my lounge in here, okay? So this is, this is John's lounge, but he has to share it with the kids. So when the grandkids come, we have them all in here. So we're just going through. So sorry, you've got to come back again. So... I... Never mind the toys, Maria. <laughs> I'm trying to teach them to bake early. That's why they've only got kitchens. Even the boys have to play in the kitchen. So, <laughs> so this is mine and Maria's office, and it looks like Beirut. And the reason we lost you then, we know, in the, the internet in the house is one is on one internet, and here in the office is okay. another one. And this is not our warehouse. This is my home, and this is where Maria and I work. So come on through. So come on through. So Maria and I are in chaos at the moment. So we're just in a display. Okay. So don't let them up too much, Maria. Okay. And then this is the all the cakes. So we have them all on here. The, the ones that this I'm just getting the boxes ready to take to the cake show. Here's our display cabinet. So is everybody joining us again, Maria? Yes. Yeah, they're all joining us. So this is our display cabinet. So guys, we're back. This is a nightmare. I really shouldn't have come up with this stupid idea. Should I show you where everything is? But you know what? You may as well know what, what chaos Maria and I are working in. So this is my Nordic wear cupboard. Hand cupboard. Look at this. Everything just full of pans. And pans, here we go. Pans, baking stuff. Tools for the cake show. Cake boxes up there when we're doing classes. And, uh, and this is mine and Maria's desk where me and Maria work. So me and Maria work here. We're on the computers all day. And yesterday was so funny because Maria had this computer going, this computer going, and this computer going. And they were all behind each other. And I went, Maria, what are you doing? And she had to do a bit of work on everything. So that's how mental it is working here. So if you're still with me, is this audience still growing? Is it still with me? Yeah. Okay. So let me show you into my sugar and crumbs kitchen. So it's a right maze, this house. So, um, so we come out here into daylight. We're coming out here. Hopefully we're going to keep the signal. Pop some lights on. So guys, who's been to my Nifty Nozzles class so you know that I love China, okay? So I love China. And where do I buy this? Charity shops. I just go around charity shops and I just pick it all up second hand so I don't buy it new. Um, and uh, John absolutely hates it, by the way. So John hates it. And I've got to be honest, it's got a bit ridiculous, really. How many of you like China? I hate <laughs> Is our audience growing again? <laughs> so anybody who likes China, we've got China here in the cupboards. So we've got China here in the cupboards. We've got China here. Here as well. Oh, this is my Nifty Nozzles cake. There's a little cupcake bouquet. If you're going to Cake International, I'm going to be demoing that. So there we go, up there. China, this is usually stuff that I've brought in when I bring it on a Monday and I'm bringing stuff from the warehouse. I bring it here and then it goes all in the kitchen. So we've got here, cake boxes for taking cakes to the show. And then let's get you in here. And then this is the sugar and crumbs kitchen. So whenever I'm making cakes normally, I don't normally make them in the house, I make them in here. And as you can see, this place is just full of stuff and anybody who comes to Nifty Nozzles classes this is where we usually are nice big kitchen and uh, so there you go that's the tour of uh, where me and Maria are so now you know where we are so we are might, I might take you down to the warehouse one day but we don't want to give all our secrets away do we 
So we're probably going to lose you again because we're going to have to change connection. And yes, I do have a selection of kitchen aids. And um, China's great, isn't it? <laughs> so there we go. Okay. Yeah, are we have back? A cake in the oven. Yes, we have a cake in the oven. So come on, then, Maria. Okay. okay, this is the last time we're back. So we've been right the way through. You've seen where I store all my rubbish. And what I was saying is, if you're going to keep get this thing, right out of everything and put it back in the box. You know why? It's so much easier to store a box with everything in and take it out of the cupboard than to keep all those plates. And I'll just grab them all together. And I've not forgot the cake, guys. But. Trying to keep six of these slippy little fellas in the cupboard is going to be a nightmare. So pop them all back in the box with your gourmet gadget trick and uh, you'll be fine. So let's see how the cake is doing. And uh, as per usual, I always muck it up. So wasn't thinking, was I? A rice cake mix does two eight inch sandwich tins. And what did I do? I mixed it all together as one, okay? Then I added more to it and then stuck it in one sandwich tin. So learn your lessons by me, guys. So let's just have a look and see if this is ready. It's a huge cake. Yay! We're ready. So it looks like a crown, doesn't it? So if I divided that between two tins, that's what I should have done. So let's get it on there. So how many people have we got back? Any questions? John doesn't know what I'm doing and he's trying to ring me several times while this live's going on. He thinks my friend is here and he's just sent me a message and said, what are you two doing? Because he thinks my friend is still here while he's running around buying butter and other things that we need for the show. So because of time, okay, I am going to quickly take this out of the pan now. You really shouldn't take it out this fast, but we're going to take it out of the pan now. So let's just... Pop it over there. So, there we go. I'm gonna take that. That's a good cake, that, isn't it? Are you loving it so far, guys? I really shouldn't do this. I'm doing everything that you shouldn't do. So bad. Right, so, Beata. Oh, we can use this knife. Our new PME knife. <laughs> now, really, guys, because you've been here long enough, uh, we've done an hour and 15 minutes. This was meant to be a 20 minute demo. So because we've done an hour and 15 minutes, I'm just going to cut the cake. And I'm really not supposed to cut it yet because it's meant to cool down. But uh, so it's probably going to come out crumbly. But anyhow, I'm just going to hope it's baked. It said it was baked. Let's put the scoop in. Let's just see. Ooh. Not cut through the balls. Should cut through the balls. Yeah, hang on a minute. Let's cut through the balls because that's the idea. You meant to cut through the balls. Pass us a fork. It's too hot, guys. I need it to cool down. Just pass me a fork, please. Yes, sir. Super fork. <laughs> this is a fork. <laughs> what are you filming, Maria? The floor and anything else. So, guys, this is too hot, okay? But ideally, it's too hot. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to have to flick him off. He's there. But let's just flick that one off and see. I want to try and cut. I can't cut through because it's too hot. You know what, guys? I'm going to have to come back to it later and cut through when it's cooler because it's uh, quite so It's quite doughy at the moment. So, But the idea is so that you can cut through. And then what you can do with this, if you wanted to, you could use your rest of your icing sugar. And we could... Uh, Maybe I should have done all that before. So. So, sorry, Andy. My Spanish is... My English is very bad. Is she Spanish? <laughs> no, but she said... I said he instead of she. Ah. And she said, I'm a woman, not a man. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, this... I'm putting all this on way while the cake is hot, which, again, I really shouldn't do. But I've just wanted... Because this live's been going on long enough. So, we're going to just use up all the ingredients that we had before... But this is the bit the kids like, so when the cake's cool down, this is the bit that they like, okay? So we've got rid of that. And, and with yellow, you're cooling carrots? 
for Pardon? your home food. Pardon? With kitchen, do you cook in? Oh, this is this is the kitchen. I don't do any cooking. John does all the cooking. I don't cook. I used to cook until I met John, but he's a better cook than me. My sons are better cooks than me. As you know, my son's a chef. One's a chef, but he's taught the other one to cook. And it's really funny that, you know, all the boys seem to cook. So there you go. That is all melting because this cake is really hot. So maybe I should have done one that I prepared earlier. But you know what, guys? This was all about telling you about this machine. And out of that one cake mix, we made seven donut rings. We made um, 12 or 13 12. balls. How many was that? Good. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Th twelve balls. We made seven cupcakes. And then we put them in there, decorated them. We've used only a little bit of the icing sugar. Okay, only a little bit and some sprinkles and the kids have had a great time and then i used another rice baking mix to put that in but don't put it in one tin guys like i did brain was not in gear okay that mix should have been divided between two tins so just remember that okay and that's why we've got this strange thing and the reason i put all the color on just to show you what to do with the rest of your color but wait till the cake's cooled down and um, because as you can see it's burning all the color off but um if you wait till it cools down, it'll stay nice and glazed. So, I hope you've enjoyed today. Um, Maria is going to put all the little Facebook Live videos together, okay? She's going to put them all together and put them on YouTube. And um, like I say, if you want this, instead of £49.99, it's on our website for £35. Grab them now while you can. You get two packets of free baking mix, uh, rice baking mix free. Grab your colour splash as well. All the links are on there. And I will see you next Monday at 8 o'clock. And hopefully we're going to be winners. And Maria is waving at me. Does that mean you've got a question, Maria? Yes. Do you sell the knife? Yes, we sell the knives. So go to our website, go to our website www.sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Um, you can go to Shop by Brand. Drop, drop down to PME. And it's the big 10-inch cake knife. Or you can go to baking accessories and it's in there as well. And I've really got to go because I think my husband's going to divorce me if I don't get down to that warehouse fairly rapid to help him fill the van. <laughs> and anybody who's coming to the cake shows, I'll see you there. Uh, yes. Um, it, you, you deserve win. Pardon? You deserve win for the, the Game Master, the Game International. Oh yes, well we hope we're going to win. Um, I don't know whether we're going to win. I think we've done everything we can, okay? But uh, I'm hopefully I'm going to be coming back with the good news on Monday night and telling you that we're going to win. And don't forget Gwen Powell's here on Monday. She's going to be using her DK applicator. And not only will I have got home at midnight, in the morning I'm going to bake cakes in these pans so that you, so I can tell you how much cake mix I've had to use for each one. And um, between me and Gwen, we might have a go at sugar paste in it, but we're not very good at that type of stuff. So that could be a different story altogether. So that will be fun. Don't expect a perfect job. And as you know, we never do a perfect job anyhow. Um, my whole thing about this is, is that I want to encourage people who are at home who fancy having a go at baking and they don't have a go because they're scared or they think people will laugh at them. And you don't need to be laughed at. I'm just trying to show you easy ways of making things that taste nice and yummy, and that's what it's all about. And um, we're going now, we're going to eat some cake, aren't we? Yeah. Oh, do you have I've had a lot of cake while this video keeps breaking up. Take good that, won't it? Mm. Any more questions, Maria? No, see you Saturday. See you Saturday if you come to the Cake Inter International. See you Friday, see you Monday, see you whenever. See you soon. Bye.